hello you're welcome how to solve this nice match problem and from here let's represent cube root of a with a letter so let m be equals to cube root of a here then we can write what is given here as 3 raised to power m plus m then equals to 30 from here then next step let's take m to this side and become minus so we have 3 raised to power m equals to 30 minus m which also is same thing as 30 minus m equals to 3 raised to power m the next step we can divide both sides by 3 raised to power m we have divided by 3 raised to power m here also divided by 3 raised to power m and here this cancel each other and this gives us 1 then what we have here can be written as 30 minus m then multiply by 1 over 3 raised to power m that equals to 1 and from when we have 1 over a raised to power n which can be written as a raised to power minus n then here we can write this as 30 minus m multiply by 3 raised to power minus m then equals to 1 from here and here we can also make this power here to be 30 minus m by multiplying here with 3 raised to power 30 so multiply both sides by 3 raised to power 30 then here we come 30 minus m then multiply by 3 raised to power 30 then times 3 raised to power minus m then equals to 1 times 3 raised to power 30 from here and next step applying the law of indices a raised to power m then a raised to power n is same thing as a raised to power m plus n then when we have this power together we have 30 minus m now times 3 raised to power also 30 plus minus m that's minus m then equals to 3 raised to power 30 on this side then also here from when we have exponent ln a the same thing as a then exponent ln 3 will be the same thing as 3 then we can write here this 3 as exponent ln 3 then we have 30 minus m then times exponent ln 3 which is raised to power 30 minus m now equals to 3 raised to power 30 on this side and also from the power law of logarithm when we take this power to the back here this becomes 30 minus m then times exponent 30 minus m then ln 3 now equals to 3 raised to power 30 from here then from here from Lambert w function when we have w function of alpha exponent alpha here this is same thing as alpha so that here the power and the coefficient are the same now the difference here is this is having ln 3 now we need to multiply here as well by ln 3 so therefore we multiply through by ln 3 from here and this becomes 30 minus m then multiply by ln 3 then exponent 30 minus m ln 3 now equals to 3 raised to power 30 multiply by ln3 as well.
then from here when we take the w function on both sides this becomes w into bracket 30 minus m then ln3 exponent 30 minus m ln3 close bracket now equals to w function of 3 raised to power 30 ln3 from here and what we have here this will reduce to 30 minus m ln3 now equals to here we still have w into let's write this 3 raised to power 30 as 3 raised to power 3 plus 27 then times ln3 from here and 3 plus 27 here from when we have a raised to power m plus n which can be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n yeah this give us 30 minus m ln3 will then be equals to w function of 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 27 then times ln3 and also from here 3 raised to power 3 3 multiply itself 3 times that's 27 and this give us 30 minus m ln3 then equals to w into here give us 27 then bring this ln3 together 27 ln3 then times 3 raised to power 27 that is from here we can also write 3 here as exponent ln3 that's equals to 3 and this becomes 30 minus m ln3 now give us w into bracket 27 ln3 then exponent ln3 raised to power 27 from here and also here we apply the power law and 27 comes here then this becomes 30 minus m ln3 now equals to w function of 27 ln3 then exponent 27 ln3 and also here the power and the coefficient are already the same so w function here we just reduce to 27 ln3 and which is equals to 30 minus m ln3 from here then when we divide both sides by ln3 here ln3 we cancel out and we have 30 minus m equals to 27 then we solve for m here we can take minus m to this side become plus and 27 to this side become minus and we have 30 minus 27 now equals to m and 30 minus 27 here give us 3 which is equals to m so m is equals to 3 and we should recall that we let m to be cube root of a that means here we can equate this and say cube root of a is equals to 3 then to get a from here we take the power of 3 on both sides that is raised both sides to power 3 then here power of 3 cancel cube root we are left with a which is equals to 3 raised to power 3 3 multiplied itself 3 times which is 27 so here we have a to be equals to 27 in this given problem so thank you for watching don't forget these steps also subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video put your comment see you next class and bye for now